welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna talk all about the app from Gather Around Homeschool. Now, if you are new to my channel, one thing you need to know about us is we love unit studies and we love Gather Around Homeschool. We're actually starting our fourth year using Gather Around Homeschool this year. So if you've never heard of Gather Around Homeschool, definitely go check it out. It's a unit study approach. It covers all of your subjects except for math. So you can use it as your core curriculum, but there's also many ways you can use it. It's very flexible, but we actually use it for our core. And one tool that I always have with me when I'm getting ready to prep our units is the Gather Around Homeschool app. So you can download this app on your devices, or you can actually reach it from a desktop, and I'll have that link down in the description box. It's completely free, you just sign up for it. And you guys, it is full of so much good information. If you are one of those mamas that just needs a little bit more support, if you need some more resources, some more videos, whatever it may be, if you're just looking for a community, then this app is where you're gonna wanna be. So in just a minute, we're gonna go to a different screen. I'm not gonna be on here anymore, and I'm gonna walk you through how to use the app and all of its nice features. It is a lifesaver for me. It's something I like to have pulled up as we're doing the lessons, so I can click right there on the videos that I need. It is amazing. So in just a second, I'm gonna switch over to that screen and give you that walkthrough. If you have any questions about Gather Around Homeschool or you're just curious about what it is, I have a playlist full of Gather Around Homeschool things. I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have about the curriculum or about the app, but check out the next part of the video. Maybe I'll answer some of the questions you have, but if I don't, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Here we are inside the Gather Round app. Now this welcome screen is gonna look exactly the same whether you're on a device using the app or on the desktop. This is exactly what it looks like. So we're gonna run through a couple of these tabs in case you're new to Gather Round or if you've just never used the Gather Round app before. I highly suggest using this app. It is so helpful and it comes in handy when I start to plan my units. So first things first, you do have news from Rebecca and that's exactly what it is. Anytime Rebecca has something that she wants to put out to everybody this is where it goes. So lives, newsletters, anything like that. Announcements, you're going to find them right here. It's essentially what you would probably find on the Facebook group, but if you're not a part of Facebook, then this is where you're going to want to check. You also have resources, which we'll talk about in just a little bit, a place to go listen to podcasts, and then there's also a podcast chat if you want to talk about it. You have feedback where you can submit and edit. If you notice that something's wrong in one of the units, this is the place you wanna come. You can suggest a unit and you can just contact them. If you have questions, you can hit that contact us button and you can send them an email. There's also live stream. There's an FAQ section, so if you have a question, it has probably been asked before, so you might wanna check here before you ask your question because it might be answered right here in the FAQs. There is an event section with just things that are coming up, an information um, section for co-ops and a co-op chat. There are freebies and I know everybody likes freebies. So this is where you're gonna find like your first day of school signs. This is where you'll find samples of units right here in your freebies. You have on the fence, so if you are new to Gather Round, if you've never tried it before, you can come here to the Q&A or you can try a free sample. Now I wanna show you my personal favorite and that's this Join a Community. So inside Join a Community, there's so much more. So you have each of the years, your one, your two, and your three. Um, so let's talk about one of those. So let's say you're doing a year one unit. Maybe you're doing, um, let's say you're doing Africa. All right, so inside of Africa, and this is what it looks like for all the units, you're gonna have a chat and you're gonna have Africa resources. So I'm gonna show you the chat. So I haven't joined this one yet. So if you're new and you wanna participate in the chat, you're gonna have to hit join. That's gonna welcome you to the group. And then from there, you can see what everybody else has posted. So people share pictures, they share work that their child's done. They ask questions about the unit or share their ideas. So that's amazing that you can go through all of that and you know, you're gonna find some great information in here. 
Okay, let's say for instance, you don't want to be in this group anymore. You're going to hit this I up at the top and you can actually leave the group down here at the bottom if you want to leave. So if you join a group and you only want to be in it for the time that you're using the unit, you can leave the group. So that's exactly what it looks like for all the years. Because if I click on your two, it's going to take me to the same thing. I can chat about it or I can go to the resources. So that's amazing. And you want to do join a community. So you don't have to just use join a community for that. There's also community chatter, which is another one of my favorites because that's where people just ask general questions. Um, what else can I do to help with spelling? Or are you adding anything to the writing? That's where people go to ask that is in the community chatter. Then if you're doing letters and numbers and ready to read with your littles, then you have a community for that. There's also a community for holiday units, faith and encouragement, Minecraft. One of my other personal favorites is the high schoolers of Gather Round. This is for families who have high schoolers and want to use Gather Round or they're planning Gather Round. This right here is so much information. I have learned all about transcripts and um, how to build a course, like if my son wants to do biology. All of this is right here. It is so, so helpful. And then this extension activity is wonderful too, because let's say you're doing Europe, but you need some extensions to make it a little more meatier for high school. This is where you can come and find that. So the high schoolers of Gather Round is amazing. There's dads of Gather Round, babies and toddlers of Gather Round, special needs of Gather Round. There's a pre-reader group, um, DIY printing, reluctant writers, and lifers. So all kinds of greatness in there. But what I really want to share with you are the resources because I see this posted all the time. What were your favorite activities to do? What videos did you watch for this unit? This is where you're gonna find that information. And the great thing is, is if you find something that's really interesting and you wanna share it, please do. Put it inside this app, tag the moderator, and let them know so they can add it to the resource list so other families can use it. So let's go inside one that I'm actually um, planning for right now. So Ancient Civilizations. So I can go into the chat and see what people have shared there, and I can get ideas from that as well, because as you can see, there's a ton of stuff in here. But what I want to show you are the resources. So what I like to do is when we're doing a unit, even after I've planned, if I know we're going to watch some of these videos, I just keep this page pulled up on my phone or on my iPad so that I can click on those links and we can go directly to either the website or the video. So what's great is this is where you'll find your book list, but let's say we're in week one. All I have to do is click on week one resources, and here we go. So if I need something for lesson one, beginning of the world, I have it right here. Here's some books that were recommended. Here's some YouTube videos, crafts, movies, places for everything. So it just goes. Here's lesson two, lesson three, and lesson four. So, I mean, these are amazing. They're just extra activities right at your fingertips that you don't have to go searching for. Now, I will always put it out there that you should watch those YouTube videos first and make sure it's appropriate for your children because what I say is okay for my son may not be appropriate in your home. So, definitely watch them before and kind of go over these activities and things before you try to do them with your kids. But anyway, these are amazing resources and they're right here provided for you. So you've got all of your weeks right here, and then you even have your downloads. So we'll click on downloads. There's your scope and sequence, your table of contents, your binder spines, your planning pages. So these were things that used to be included inside the printed units, but now you find them here. There's an optional supply list and a certificate of completion. So that is the resources, and my goodness, guys, that is like gold right there. You definitely want to do that. So there's your ancient resources. And like I said, that's available for all the units. Now, the amount of resources is going to vary based on how many people have actually done that unit or if it's a new unit and a lot of people haven't got to do it yet. So you may be the first one to add to, but that's what I wanted to show you, the inside and the guts of the app. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you were able to go and download that app or pull it up on your desktop and be able to use it. Let me know um, if you do use it and how you use it. And remember, if you find something that's really great, 
to use with one of the units, be sure to go and share it. All you have to do is tag the moderator by using the at symbol and they can add it to the resources for the other families to use. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.